right, cheers, folks. Thanks for coming back to uh, Modern Horror's 31 Days of Halloween. Fucking Weird Week continues today with Toxic Avenger from Troma Films. Our story takes place in Tromaville, which is inhabited by the worst people in the world, all of them, in one place. And it's more specifically, it takes place in this health club gym thing where everybody is in 80s leotards and smoking and drinking and clearly having open sex everywhere. There are a lot of boobs in this movie. A lot of boobs. Um... <clears throat> our hero is the janitor at this gym who is very slow and watching everybody have lots of sex. And our antagonists are four awful human beings who chase people down in cars and run them over and kill them and then take pictures of their dead mutilated corpses. Awesome! So two truckers doing all the cocaine park their truck full of just toxic liquid in front of the health club. Our four antagonists manage to corner our janitor. Um, they make him believe that he's going to get get it on with the, the evil blonde. Um, but she says that she needs him to be in a pink with a tutu and a pink leotard. And he shows up and they trick him and then he's making out with a sheep. So he runs up and jumps out a window and falls down and lands in the toxic chemicals and he's on fire and everything's just bubbling and everybody's laughing at him saying he's just fooling he's not no and because it's a trauma movie so he turns into the toxic avenger and he starts punching up bad guys and he's like i don't know why i'm doing this and he's clearly dubbed and it's amazing <laughs> and he saves this blind girl and they fall in love and he ends up living in the um in the trash dump and I totally forget how it ends. Um, oh, the mayor is corrupt and evil, and then I think he kills the mayor. Yeah, he totally kills the mayor. And then everybody goes, yay, Toxie! And then credits roll. I mean, seriously, that's the movie, and it's awesome. <laughs> there's a bit where there's a citizen's crusade, and the mayor tries to sort of turn the people against Toxie, because he kills some old Chinese lady at a dry cleaners, but it turns out she's like the head of a multinational drug ring or something, and he just has evil person sense, so he was he was really doing the right thing, so he tries to run away, and they chase him down, and then he just can't control himself and kills the mayor, and everybody decides it's all good, and, uh, yeah, yeah. There's a weird sex scene. Several. Yes. Trauma movies, like, I, I've seen a couple of trauma movies, and for me they can be really hit or miss, because sometimes they're just... Too cheap, too crass, too too shitty, too trauma, I guess, um, to put a point on it. But Toxic Avenger, I think, is the sweet spot where it's still relatively sensible as a campy, shitty 80s horror flick, but it's also trauma enough to have the, the trauma grossness to it. And Toxic Avenger is a, is a great character. Um, I love the way that they dub his voice. I think that's really so funny. So dumb. So, like, the guy sounds like, you know, a, du a dude doing a really bad, retarded person impression when he's the janitor. But then when he turns into the Toxic Avenger, he, he just growls and grunts and snarls and shouts. And then all of a sudden he's like this. Hello, Jen. I actually, I think my favorite part about this movie are the villains. They're, like, all the bad guys he finds and kills. And there's, like, a slew of them, and they're all, like, these stupid colorful characters. Like, there's this one guy who is a cross-dresser, and then when he finally fights him, he's just, like, doing these weird karate moves. Like, the weirdest karate moves. Like, weird kicks. And there's these one gang that holds up the, uh, the taco place, and they all got painted faces, and they're saying the weirdest, Hey, this chick's got a dog! And he shoots the dog. The dog dies. And then when the cops show up, and the cops are clearly bad, too, but the, everybody's eating tacos. I mean, it's it's a trauma movie. I think what I love the most about this movie is the fact that it's a trauma movie. It's, you gotta know what you're getting into. It's so dumb, but it's amazing. And it is weird. So I think we've classified weird, but it, it's yeah. strange. I mean, if you look at it objectively, every single trauma movie is bad. <laughs> When trauma works well, and this is trauma working very, very well, it's good because it's so bad. They are the ultimate B-movie studio, and you can't really say that you didn't like something about a B-movie when the whole point is that it's so terrible you like it anyway. I think I'm with you there. Um, I think the thing I didn't like about the movie is the same thing that I liked about the movie. 
I didn't like that it's a trauma movie. I mean, it's gross looking, it's, um, all the characters are disgusting. Like, 100% disgusting. Not just Toxic Avenger, but like, the bad guys are reprehensible and it's hard to take. Um, sometimes, cause like, they go into, like, they run this kid down on a bike and it's just, oh man. Um, and, but I mean, they're so evil about it. Like, when he's driving, he presses the, uh, accelerator down, there's beer cans all on, underneath his, cause he's been clearly drinking them. Um, I don't like the leotards and everybody rubbing against each other. Lots of crotch rubbing, too. I mean, it's gross! But I like that, too, so it's a very weird feeling I have, because it's just like, I like it! Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the kind of movie that is, it's tough. But yeah, it's definitely better than a lot of their other movies. <laughs> like, we watched Tales from the Crapper. We tried to watch Tales from the Crapper. It was Crapper. so bad, we just couldn't get there. So would you recommend it? Toxic Avenger is a classic character. Toxic Avenger the movie is pretty dang watchable for a trauma movie. You just kind of have to know what you're getting into. Yeah. Go see it. I'm going to say it depends on who you are, because I know some people who cannot stand B-movies, and I probably would never recommend it to them. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's dumb. And if you can handle dumb, this is the right amount of dumb. And gross, and just not well put together. But if you can handle all that... This is it. Alright folks, I think that's it for fucking Weird Week, Day 2, Toxic Avenger. Thanks for joining us on Modern Horror's 31 Days of Halloween. The Madness continues with uh, Videodrome, right? Videodrome. Long live the new flesh! Long live the new flesh. Spooky, scary skeletons Speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you